Hello and welcome to my in-depth guide in building a trading strategy with Python. I'm going to construct a momentum trading strategy on the S&P 500 and I'm covering all relevant details you need for that. The strategy itself is straightforward. We are checking the past 12 month performance of all S&P 500 stocks and we are buying the top performers and hold them for one month. In this part we are focusing on the data, so data preparation and handling. In specific the goal is to get realistic and reliable data. The problem is, we are pulling the composition of the S&P 500 as of today. With that we are ignoring the losing stocks because they have been thrown out the S&P in the past and we are including those stocks which already made it in the S&P even before they were in the S&P. This whole concept is called survivorship bias and has a distinct impact on a trading strategy. So how do we solve this problem in theory? We are just including the removed stocks until they were removed and we are excluding the added stocks until they were added. In the next part we are applying the strategy on the data, construct the trading logic and do a benchmark comparison. Important disclaimer, concepts shown in this video are not an investment advice, video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Alright, let's get started. We need three libraries, Y Finance, NumPy and Pandas. After defining a starting date of our analysis, I'm just taking the beginning of 2015 here. I'm pulling a list of all S&P 500 companies from Wikipedia, ending up with a data frame overall like this. From this table, we extract all symbols which we need to pull stock prices using Y Finance. So I'm just extracting the symbol column here to get my symbols. As Y Finance needs it as a list, I'm transforming it here. After that, I'm using the overall data frame to only filter for those rows from our starting date on. The others are simply not relevant for us. This overall data frame is important later on because I will use it to filter my data for the edit symbols using the date edit column. Next, I'm reading in a table from the same Wikipedia site to extract the removed symbols. I need them in my analysis as well and have to include it until the date they are removed from the SMP. This site is also, or this table on this site, is also containing the edit symbols, but I highly recommend to use my edit approach, as e.g. you have symbol naming changes, which will give you a hard time. So I got my removed symbols here. So as an example, SBNY Signature Bank was removed on March the 15th this year. So what I will need to do is to include this stock until that date. Next, I'm just doing some data manipulations to the removed data frame. So I'm setting the index as the date column. And I'm also transforming the index to a date time index. I'm also filtering for only for us relevant rows, which are after the defined starting date. I'm also dropping NAN values. Background of this is the data frame is containing added symbol rows as well, which have an NAN value in the removed column. After that, very important, I am extending my stocks list by the removed symbols so that we have the removed symbols covered by our analysis. And after that, I finally pull stock prices for all those symbols, including the removed symbols, starting at our starting date, so beginning of 2015, and we are storing that in a variable df. As you see, we are getting some delisting errors, which is an issue, 
but not a drastically significant one. However, you should be cautious with that and keep that in mind. After that, I'm transforming the index of that price data frame DF to a daytime index. Next, I'm covering the price data filter for both the removed and added symbols. So let's start with an example for a removed symbol. I'm filtering the removed data frame for SBNY as an example and extract the date by checking the index. And with that, I'm getting the 15th March. Now, if you check out the prices for that symbol here, you see that we have prices until the last trading date, so 12th May. So it would be fully included, even though it has been removed from the S&P. So to avoid this, what I did is, I was filtering this index until the date where it was excluded. So filtering for every date which is smaller or equal to the 15th March. Ending up with a Boolean mask. And when I apply this Boolean now and replace the old data, as I did here, you will see that I have NAN values after this date. And with that, it will be excluded from this date on. So the last value here would be on the 15th March. This function, so price filter underscore removed, is just formalizing what I just did for a given ticker symbol for the removed ones. And I also got a logic for the added ones here, which is the exact same logic, just vice versa. So included from a certain day on, referencing to the overall data frame from above instead. Finally, I'm just looping over the removed and added symbols and call these two functions. And with that, I have perfectly prepared my data for the next video where we are constructing our trading strategy. So just as a proof of concept, for instance, LUEM and SBNY were in the removed list. And I was just showing the price data frame now. So LUEM was removed 20th of March, SBNY 15th of March. And as you see, LUEM data is going until 20th of March because it was removed 20th of March and SBNY is going until 15th of March as it was removed on that day. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you are as excited as I am for the follow-up video. Leave it a like if you enjoyed and have a good day. Bye-bye.